Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I wanted to make a short video to clarify a question and concern about one release in particular, the Terminator 2 4K release and the new Terminator 2 4K Steelbook release. I am asked questions about this on the daily about whether or not the Steelbook has a new 4K transfer because many of you know how notoriously bad the original 4K transfer on the uh, first Terminator 2 4K release was. So I know a lot of people were hopeful that this would be a better transfer and I want to talk about the differences between the two if there is a difference and honestly I want to kind of dump on Lionsgate a little bit for the way that they marketed this because I think they did it sort of intentionally confusing for consumers and I don't love that. So the release that I'm talking about is here. It's this new Terminator 2 Steelbook. It was available at Best Buy. It is a cool release. It has this really cool slip cover that kind of plays into the artwork. It's got very cool design. It was on my list of, you know, best designed uh, releases for 2021. I thought it was very, very cool. And it actually did include um, a couple of extra special features. But when you looked at the press release for this and the way that it was being marketed online, I think that's where the confusion comes in. And I have so many people asking me, well, is this a new transfer or is this not? Because if it was a new transfer, I'm sure many of you would want to purchase that because the previous one was so bad. Now, the way that Lionsgate and potentially Best Buy and whoever else worked on this, the way they marketed it straight out of the press release here that I got from my email, I went back and found this, is that they were talking about this is a new 4K transfer supervised by James Cameron. So given that the previous Terminator 2 4K was released in 2017, when you tell me that there's a new 4K transfer supervised by James Cameron in 2021, I think it's fair to make the assumption that, oh, they fixed it. James Cameron must have heard the complaints. They went back and fixed this. It's a brand new transfer. We should be buying this release. And unfortunately, what they were not open enough about and what they were sort of hiding was that, yeah, this was a new transfer, but it was a new transfer from 2017. There was no new restoration work done on Terminator 2, but the way that Lionsgate and Best Buy and whoever else tried to spin this, and then the way that even a lot of websites reported on this was that, yes, this is a brand new 4K transfer, and that's what got so many people excited because obviously they wanted to replace the old terrible one. So I just wanna clear that up, and I know this video will be quick, but if you're buying this Steelbook, that's totally up to you. It has cool artwork. It's certainly a better version uh, of a 4K release than the kind of standard edition that was out there before. But please don't think you're getting a new transfer. It is exactly the same. Now that they're trying to spin it four years later, they're trying to make it seem like, oh, it's brand new. And they even say brand new in some of the marketing, which is really, really annoying and misleading and honestly could be considered false advertisement because I would say four years old is not brand new and they were clearly trying to make a few bucks off of people who didn't do their research, had heard the news about the bad transfer and were hoping that this was a brand new one which would be better and that's really just disappointing false advertising from everyone involved. So I just had to make that clear because I swear I get questions on social media and in the YouTube comments and even in my email almost on the daily about whether or not people should buy this. And if you're buying it because you think you're getting a better 4K disc, that's not the reason to buy it because you are not. It is exactly the same. It is a one-to-one, -one, the exact same transfer, the exact same disc that you got in the previous 4K release. So that is it for the video. Typically I wouldn't make a video this short about a short topic like this, but because I got so many questions, I just had to address it. So appreciate y'all watching it. If you like stuff like this, make sure you subscribe and you're up to date on all the latest in physical media because I try to keep you up to date as we go on all of that. And also make sure to follow me on social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all the links are down in the description, plus lots of other ways you can help support my channel down in that description as well. So really appreciate the support support. Hopefully this cleared up some questions. Hopefully this saved a few of you some bucks. I wish I had done this video earlier, but it sort of just came to my attention the way that this was marketed and false advertised, and I wanted to clear that up. So hopefully I saved a few of you, and if I didn't, you know, definitely 
I would I would complain because that was not great advertising and false advertising is you know illegal in in many places and uh, should never be celebrated. So uh, I you know typically like what Lionsgate does and Best Buy Steelbooks are cool, but in this case they really misled consumers and that stinks. So anyway, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you soon.